what's up thanks for tuning in to big Ridge gardens um, i'm sweating uh, i don't know how hot it is but i'm in florida central florida and it's hot so that's the reason i'm sweating like this plus i'm in the garden um but today i want to show you guys my attempt to transplant my eggplant so this is my eggplant i grew it um over the winter and uh, so i want to keep it for another season so i'm gonna take it out of this box and put it in a pot um so i'll show you the pot we're going to put it in here so while we're walking over there but here's my eggplant give you a nice shot of it here it's blooming and uh i might try to i might cut it back before i actually uh or after i actually uh plant it into this pot here but uh once I uh, get it in there, um, we'll see how it goes. But uh, so here's my attempt. Hopefully this thing works, and I uh, won't be having to grow a new eggplant. This is a, this is a great eggplant here. Gave me a lot of fruit, and um, tasted great. So uh, here we go. So if you want, I'm trying to go underneath the roots. I'll go lift the plant up. Just try not to just not to disturb as many roots as I can. Here, I can see them down there. So, go underneath. I don't want to hurt my baby here. Let's go on the other side. Go a little deeper. There. Yeah, and once I get it uh, out of the ground and into the pot, I will definitely definitely uh, uh, cut it back some. Well, we like we have to cut this one short. There's ants all over here. And uh, that's how Big Rich Gardens go. So, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm going to take care of these ant bites. <laughs> and uh, enjoy. Alright. Here's the uh, eggplant after I uh, transplanted. I cut a lot of the growth back. Uh, so it can focus on, it looks pretty bad, but uh, <laughs> the transfer, you know, when you transfer a plant, it's going to go through shock. Uh, just like if you took a fish shot of the fish tank, it's going to go through shock. Uh, so to help it uh, go through that shock, navigate through that shock, I cut back some of its growth uh, so that it can focus on uh, building its roots rather than uh, uh, producing uh, fruits and stuff. So um, I did leave some buds on there. Maybe I could have cut off all the buds. Um, you know, gardening is an experiment, so um, we'll see how this goes. I've had success with this before, transplanting plants this way, so um, I thought I'd try it on this one. But again, I, I just wanted to show you my attempt. A uh, couple things, though. Uh, make sure, maybe you should be doing this in shade, not like me in the middle of the day. Um, also, with your ants, if you're in Florida, you have ants in your garden. Um, as you saw, I got bit by some. A uh, good remedy for that, if you're not using pesticides, chemicals like myself, um, is cinnamon or coffee grounds. You can go to Starbucks, pick up a big bag, a couple bags of their used coffee grounds, stick it in your garden. It helps keep away the ants. I haven't had any uh, coffee grounds here in a little while. But it help, helps keep away your ants, and it's uh, it has a great uh, additive for your nitrogen. So uh, your plants love it, worms love it. Actually, your worms will multiply because of it. So uh, it's a good thing to add in your garden. But um, again, um, ants, use some coffee grounds or cinnamon, uh, transplant uh, in some shade maybe later in the day. And uh, once you get the plant in the pot, uh, add some water to it so you can help navigate it through that uh, shock that it will be going through. And also cut away some of your growth so that the plant will um, uh, be able to get through the shock. I'm not out of cutting it, cut it right, uh, whatever. <laughs> but my plants, I've had some success with them. So uh, uh, just it's just an idea done the tip it may not be the right way but it's the way i've done it so um, again thanks for tuning in to big rich gardens uh hit me up on my uh, blog big rich gardens uh, i got some other stuff there and uh, or twitter big rich gardens uh thanks for tuning in and uh enjoy all right um here is day one after the eggplant transplant uh it's just come back has some vitality back now, so a little worried. I hate to seeing the plant look like that, but um, I did what I had to do. I kept my soil moist and um, uh, made it easier for this plant to make it through. I still have some buds left, so I'm looking forward to some eggplants uh, this growing season. 
And um, I'll be able to bring this plant inside when it gets, you know, when we have those two days of cold in Florida, I'll be able to bring it inside and uh, uh, keep it for a couple more seasons. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, this transplant was successful. Um, a little rough. We learned about ants and we learned about the transplant of the eggplant. And uh, again, uh, thank you for tuning in to Big Rich Gardens. Um, it's the start of a new growing season here in Florida, Zone 9, Central Florida. Um, so look forward to uh, some more videos. And uh, I'll probably be losing weight in them too because I always lose weight when it's growing season. I don't, I don't know why right, because I do a lot of work. Anyway, um, uh, thanks for tuning in Big Rich Gardens and enjoy.